Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a verse for loop in Unreal Editor. To just do this, we're just going to go into the island template and we'll just get a simple project and we'll just go create and it'll just take a second to load up. And then it's very easy to create a verse device or code snippet. We're just going to come up here where it says verse explorer on the project name. We're going to right click add new verse file to project. It's going to come in with this default hello world one and we'll just go ahead and accept that. I'll leave it called hello world two. Then it'll create this creative device folder. We're going to click that. And if we double click into this, this will be our verse code right here. And then once we eventually learn this, we can start using it to add more advanced functionality to our games and things like that. This language is strongly typed, which means everything has to be spelled out for it. We don't need these print statements right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. And so this is a very simple, just a few lines of code here. We don't use tab, we use the space bar. And the first thing we're going to do is declare a variable. So, oops, I hit tab on the space bar. And so to do that, to declare a variable, we go var, just like we do in Unreal Engine. And then what we got to do is give the variable a name. And I'm just going to call this number. And then we hit the colon. And then we are going to say what type of variable it is. And it's an integer. It's int. They all need to be initialized. We need to put a value in there. And we'll just put in a zero. And once we're done writing our line of code, we don't need to put anything after this, like a semicolon or anything like that. Now I'm just hitting the arrow keys and I'm going to jump down here. And then I'm going to do a loop. So I'm going to type in L-O-O-P colon jump down the line, I hit enter, and then I'm going to go set. And this is just like we use in Unreal Engine, set, set and get, but we're using set. And we're going to set our number variable. And we're going to go, it's going to equal, and then we're going to increment it by one. Number plus one. And then I hit enter again, and then we're going to go, if, and you got to put parentheses, number is less than, whoops, is less than, let's say 20, right? We got to put a colon at the end of this, of a colon, then we want it to print the number. So for the print string, it's kind of finicky here. It's capital P, R and T, and it's a parentheses, and then it's brackets, and then it's going to be curly brackets here, and then we can write our net variable name in there, number. And then we're going to come down, hit enter again, and I'm going to just hit the arrow and come back here. So it's going to print the number. And then we're going to go else, colon, and we're going to come down and we're going to type print, parentheses, I mean, yeah, and then quotes, quotations there. Um, and this will just say done here. And I hit enter one more time, and then we'll break our loop. And you notice all our red lines clear out when we do, and that means we should be good to go. So we'll just come up here now, and we will... There should be a save here somewhere. File, save. Or you can hit Control S, and we'll close that now. And then we'll come up to where it says verse and build verse code. And then this is the important part. We have to drag this onto the scene. And this is just kind of a manifestation of our verse code that we've written. And that should be it. And then we'll just go ahead and launch session. And I'll come back as soon as this is launched because it's going to take a few minutes. Okay, it looks like it's launched. And then I'll hit escape. And if I've done everything correctly, this is just going to appear on the screen real fast. But it's going to be in the upper left. And it should, it should print 1 through 19. And then done. And so I'll go start game.
and there it is you see it one through 19 on the left side it's just there for like two seconds that's the default but that's how you do a for <laughs> for loop inverse i'm trying to do little sections of code as i learn them and i'm actually creating a library for my own use but as i kind of stumble and create these little bits of logic i am I'm trying to do little quick tutorials about them. So anyway, take care. Have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.